What is going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be talking about gaming news. Uh, E3 is almost here. E3 will be June 9th and it's going to be great. Uh, Sony PlayStation 4 brief is going to be at 6 p.m. They always get that slot for some reason. I think they're actually pretty smart because the Xbox uh, presentation is going to be earlier. It's going to be at 9.30 a.m. So that gives them a huge gap you know to pretty much unscrew anything that they screw up in technically um you know if xbox one comes out with halo 5 fable this all that sony has room to wiggle a little bit you know make those last minute changes which i think is what they did last e3 and everything will be fine i don't know why they keep getting this slot maybe xbox uh microsoft should negotiate you know these slot times because I think if they're at a disadvantage if they come in earlier and then Sony at the end just boom nukes them down with whatever news they have. Um, other than that, there is the news that Watch Dogs is 60 FPS 1080p on the PS4. Um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but if you go to the Sony PlayStation website, you can see that it's been written in the pre-order section where the little summary is. It says 60 FPS 1080p. Now, if that's true, you know, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if the Xbox One gets, you know, the 820p, 810p, and all that jazz with 60 FPS or 30, whatever, because that's what's been happening with pretty much every game. Um, well, at least every third-party game. First-party games are a whole different thing. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm pretty sure they haven't announced it, made a big announcement because of all the, the backlash that, you know, they'll get because... The PS4 right now has been destroying it in the Department of Resolution and FPS with pretty much every third-party game, no matter what. It's it's a fact. Um, other than that, guys, there is the Sunset Overdrive game. Um, it looks like an amazing game. Um, I'm surprised uh, the PS4 isn't getting it. Um, I think Sony messed up by not accepting, you know, accepting it. Uh, there's been rumors that Sony would only accept the game if they would take over the IP or something like that. And supposedly Microsoft was the only one that didn't want any of that. They just wanted the game to be on the Xbox One. Sony wanted a whole other deal. Um, and Zomniac makes amazing games. Their weapons, their animations, their, you know, the, their games are always amazing. So that's a good one for Xbox One. Definitely, that's definitely going to be an amazing game. Looks fun. The trailer, the gameplay that they showed. It's kind of, it's kind of a combination of Jet Set Radio, um, like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and, Dex and Daxter, and Dead Rising, like mixed together. That's pretty much what it looked like to me. And I love Jet Set Radio and all those other games. So I think that's a good deal for all of us. And uh, last but not least, uh, the God of War Collection uh, Vita review was released by IGN. It didn't do as good as I thought it would. Um, it only got a 6.3, which is okay from IGN. Um, it's a port. You know, the Vita has gotten a ton of ports. Um, some of them have been good. Some of them have been okay. Um, you know, the Vita is really not uh, doing a whole lot of stuff like the 3DS. You know, the 3DS has that, you know, that market of, you know, little kids and all that. You know, the games are easier to play, I think. Um, you know, and that, you know, their games are made for the 3DS, the Vita, most games are ported, um, you know, PS2 games and all that. And they're amazing games, just like Borderlands 2 for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Amazing game ported to the Vita, plays well, doesn't look as great, but it's still Borderlands 2 on the go. Come on, you can't beat that. Um, other than that, guys, um, rate, like, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this video, keeping it short. I'm going to be doing more gaming news videos, probably. I want to try to do daily videos. Um, I haven't uploaded videos in months. I've been busy. I'm just getting out of the Navy. So I might be dedicating full time to YouTube. And I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Peace.